Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this little home decor fake Mickey inspired milkshake. Um, this is not real food, it won't go bad, and you can't eat it, just so you know. It is just for decoration purposes. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. So to start off, you're going to need some sort of glass. I already had these little uh, root beer float glasses on hand, but they do have tons of cute options at Dollar Tree if you don't have something already. And then we're going to be using um, a little bit of this red acrylic paint. I'm just using the shade Bright Red. This is just from Walmart. And then you are going to need two little buttons for the front. I got this entire container of buttons from Dollar Tree, and I just picked out two of the white ones. And then I did lose the footage of me painting these, but basically I picked up these little wooden round circles at Hobby Lobby a while back, and then I just grabbed two and painted them black. And then the other thing you're gonna need is this like spackle hole filler, but you need the ultra lightweight one. I got mine off Amazon. Now, fair warning, um, do not buy this and then wait six months to do this craft like I did because it will dry out. I did add some water to try to bring it back to life, but obviously it would be easier if it just worked. The way you had it originally and then I'm just taking some of this blue painters tape to mark off a line because I only wanted the red part to be about halfway up the glass um, this part just take your time with it is a little bit challenging to get like a perfectly crisp line with the way that my glass was shaped um, but I just did it kind of in pieces if you try to do this all in one piece of tape that's I don't even think that's possible <laughs> so I basically did two larger pieces and then took some smaller pieces to kind of even out the line And um, I mean, you might be able to paint this by hand without doing the tape. I would absolutely not be able to do that. <laughs> And then once you have it all taped off, I'm just taking the red paint. Originally, I tried to dip it, dip the brush, and then go in and paint it, but I found the most effective thing to do is just to squirt the paint directly in and then kind of use your brush to paint it up. And then I did use my hair dryer to dry it between coats. I had to do two coats of acrylic paint to get a, a pretty good coverage. So like I said, my spackle had dried out, so I'm just scooping like the entire container into this Ziploc bag. And then I'm just adding a little bit of water and I'm gonna like smush it and mix it together. Um, you don't want to add too much water because if it gets too liquidy you won't be able to like keep the form of the whipped cream look but if it's too like this where it's like chunks then that's not gonna work either <laughs> um, you are gonna need one of these large Ziploc bags because this is how I'm using um, this is like what I'm using instead of a pastry bag you could use a pastry bag if you have those on hand too but I figured more people are gonna have Ziploc bags so again I'm just kind of mixing mine with the water um, to make sure that it's smooth and then if you open yours and you do feel like you need to add a little water you can um, you can also add instead of adding water you could add paint like an acrylic paint because acrylic paint is so watered down that would add a smoothness to it and you could also change the color so if you wanted your shake to look like it's chocolate or strawberry or something like that that's an option too so then I'm just snipping off the corner of the bag and um, originally I put this little styrofoam ball in to eat up some space and then I started doing the filler but um, you could see the ball <laughs> so I do end up pulling the ball out um, and you'll see but um, I did figure out a better way to kind of like preserve the quote-unquote frosting So I took it out and now I'm kind of um, taking the, the frosting, that's what I'm going to call it, and I'm throwing it down into the bottom. And then I'm going to take that styrofoam ball and I'm going to smush it into the bottom. And what it ends up doing is it makes this frosting kind of rise up and cover up the sphere, but it makes your frosting go a lot further. So instead of having to fill up the entire glass, I was able to do it this way. Um, I did end up using that entire container of spackle and I'm not sure if um, it's because it dried out or what. Um, this is what it looked like with the ball inside and now I'm actually going in and doing kind of the pretty part. I'm sorry that my hand got in the way for this by the way guys. I did my best but it's kind of a hard angle to film at. Um, but I just did it like in a swirl pattern. Um, I wish I had made it a little bit bigger, but at the time I was planning on making two of these, like a Mickey and a Minnie, and then I very quickly realized I just didn't have enough spackle. 
So now I'm just going in and making it a little bit bigger. You can tap this down with your finger, um, but every time you touch it, it is gonna leave kind of an imprint. So I would be really careful with doing something like that. Cause I think it looks a little bit more like whipped cream when you just take it, like squeeze it straight out of the bag. So now I'm taking those little black discs that we painted earlier and just inserting them in to look like the little mouse ears. And then adding just a teeny bit more of this uh, quote unquote frosting. <laughs> So next I had this little red plastic straw on hand, so I made a little indent and then I'm snipping off most of the bottom part because that styrofoam ball is in the way and just sticking in the end of it to make it look a little more like a milkshake. And then the very last step is gluing on the buttons. I'm just using hot glue. If you're for some reason worried about the whole hold of the hot glue, you could always do hot glue and E6000, um, but I had no problems with just using hot glue. And that pretty much does it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you end up recreating this, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing when you guys do this. And you could do this with so many different characters. I do have some more ideas planned of kind of like dessert Disney DIYs. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss those. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!